Hey guys, it's me Yuki Plays, and today I show you the build of the AR Blue Rose Epic Card 3. A high crit rate, assault rifle, and crit damage. And it's very underrated, especially in the PC version. I never saw people using that, but I'm not really sure. But I know it's rare, it's very rare that people use that. It doesn't do that much damage compared to other weapons or like the broken ones, but it's still good to use in co-op or other missions and i'm talking about this weapon here <laughs> it's very good so so and how you can get this weapon i will show you now okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna port here in the old south lost gate go in the midpoint not midpoint two midpoint and when you're here what you're gonna do is you walk a bit a little here and then go outside here and when you do that look up immediately and here shall be a golden drone and this golden drone is going to drop the AR Blue Rose MK3 um, to get it to legendary will take some time I recommend you buying the, the Colonius from Argo so it uh, you get higher stuff and maybe the rare drop rate. But when you when it drops, then you need to be lucky that it's legendary and have good chips on it. So good luck with the farming. And when the golden drone didn't show up, then you port here again, walk there again, and repeat that until you get a good blue rose. And that's it. So good luck with the farming. Okay, when you manage to farm Blue Rose, then congrats. Now I can show you my stats. What I'm using is 97 strength, so I can wield the Blue Rose exactly to wield the Blue Rose. Then 46 vitality, because you don't need that much vitality for this build. Then I have 231 intelligence, so I can use my buffs like the field buffs and other then 250 agility so we are fast and we have defense then i have max dex and max luck max dex so we do more damage to weak spots and more damage to crits and luck max because you have more crits more critical rate and a little bit more of defense all right that's it the skills i'm using is power feature for Guard Fish Shot 4, Speed Form 4 and Human Fortress 1. Power Shield for 4 because we have more attack, of course. And the same here, so we have more defense. Speed Form 4, so we have higher movement speed. And Human Fortress 1, so we don't flinch when getting attacked. And we can regen as well. For the Assault Rifle, I have Skill Free Shot 4, Varus Shot 4, Scatter with 4 and Hyper Awareness. Skill featured four for the humanoids, you know, Livre is annoying in the end. And Asnas and Kuritos, especially for them. Then we have Vile Shot 4 because we want to debuff every strong enemy. And then we have Scatter Wheel 4, what is underrated. This is actually very good against humanoids. If you don't believe me, try it out. But especially with crit weapons like this one, Scatter Wheel is good. And then we have Hyper Awareness because we're gonna spam it I'll almost spam it because we have a lot of recharge time what i'm gonna show you in a bit okay the gadgets i'm using is first aid kit 2 anti helmet kit 2 anti ar veil and the stun trap the stun trap so we can stun the bosses very good and other enemies if you want to but i actually use them only for the bosses then we have anti ar veil for the kokitos the last co-op mission because he's annoying with his minigun and if you use the anti air veils, it's the best you can do <laughs> against that. Or you have shield matrix, that's good as well, or hyper awareness. But I recommend using anti air veil. Then we have anti armed kit 2, you know that, and first aid kit 2. And for my equipment, I have Audion Ray MK3, the pistol. So I can use my buffs. How you can get this pistol? Watch my stun build video. There I explain how you can get this pistol. Then I have the AR Blue Rose MK3. As you can see, I build it especially for crit. So I have critical rate, critical damage 60%. But when what I have also is physical attack 50% and weak spot damage at 50%. How you can get this is bounty. You have to get bounty. 
above 180 million and then you get as a reward weapons that has like 60% crit rate, 50% physical attack and more and more. And if you good with, it with farming you can make multiple accounts and farm it over and over again then you have a lot like I did as you can see. I have a, a lot of weapons with some with, with those stats here and that's because I farmed all those. And what I have also is auto reload rate important so you can shoot endlessly. Damage and max HP also important so you do more damage. Then we have weapon attack and damage versus max. No no damage versus life arms because 80% of this game is only mech. That's why mech is the most important for enemies though. And humanoids, you only use humanoids when you actually play PvP. But some of my builds have it anyway because I just want to do more damage. But actually that those chips you see here, they are the important ones. Except critical rate and critical damage. You only put critical rate, critical damage when you have a crit weapon like my weapon right now. But other than that, other uh, except those two, every chip you see here are uh, the common builds that everyone uses. All right, then I have here my Dex 32, Luck 32, and Recharge Time 25%, and Max HP 32%. And I have it again. So I have 50% Recharge Time, 64% Max HP, and more Dex and Luck. When you don't have both, you have only one of them, then use the other bounty uh, reward you got. It's like 22% recharge time, so you can s so, you, so you can spam at least the skills. All right, and that's it, guys, for the build. I hope you like it. Test it out. Tell me what you think about this build in the comments. Is it is it like bad or is it good? I want to know. But now I'm going to show a little bit of gameplay of this build. If you don't want to see it, then you can stop here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. But for the people that want to see it, I'm going to look for a co-op lobby or make one myself. So see you there. Okay, I made um, my room myself. There were a lot of lobbies, but I don't want to risk too much lag now. So I made one myself. Let's solo this dungeon. There we go. I like seeing crit numbers. Ah, there we go. Um, yesterday I did stream and I wanted to try something new. Like um, I have a new overlay and I think I don't like this overlay. I'm gonna put full screen again. But the other thing I ha wanted to try was VTuber. You heard about it already, I guess. But the problem is every time I started my VTuber thing, it started to lag. And I tried everything, so it's 60 FPS, like this game right now. But it didn't work out. And the problem is because of my GPU. My GPU is too weak for that, sadly. I have to buy a GPU, and you all know how expensive those GPUs are. Sad, because I want to be a VTuber though. My avatar is like a lolly nickel. <laughs> Looks cute, but sadly, I can't use it. 
I mean, I can use it only when I don't play stuff or when I put my resolution down to like 720p or much, much lower, but you know, that's that doesn't look good. I wanna do high quality stuff and when I only can do it like this, nah. My VTuber thing has to wait. Okay, now I have to be careful, I'm almost dying here. Ah, come on. Yeah, there we go. hear like a helicopter in the background up you don't hear that okay now let's give the queen what she deserves let's go There we go. She's dead. I'm dead almost too. As you can see, it's a bit weaker than auto weapons. But you can do it, it's possible. Okay, let's go here, then we get, don't get debuffed. It's a good trick. Okay, now I have to run. If you walk around this wall here, you don't, you don't get hit. Not a single one. Good to remember as well. There we go, I did it. Hit it! Not today. Oh god! I was stuck on the wall. For one second.
What's it gonna be? Okay, the punch. Come on, die, 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 die. Nice. Actually, a good time for this weapon. A pretty good time for this weapon. It did lag a little, little bit because of the control. Okay, and that's it for the build. I hope you liked it. If you do, let me know. If not, no, thanks for watching. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys' support. Uh, th th you give me motivation. I said it a, a lot, but I have over 200 subs now, and without you guys, I won't be able to do this videos here because you guys are giving me motivation to continue. So thanks for that, guys. I'm very thankful. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.